Welcome to The Pog Show. I'm your host, Christine Martindale, Public Information Officer for the City of Port Orange, a city in Central Florida that is unique by choice, not by chance. I will be bringing you powerful interviews and on-the-go info to gain a better understanding of the various services and functions our city provides. So let's get started. Hello, everyone, to Episode 15 of The Pog Show. Today I have with me in the podcast studio, Deputy Director for the Parks and Recreation Department, Pete Ferreira. But before we talk with Pete, I just want to say that we have been serving our listeners for one full year now. It has been a fun year with the variety of guests that I've been able to interview over the course of the last year. This podcast idea had been in the works for some time and it's been so fulfilling to finally get it off the ground. I do want to thank Mick Niels, my audio engineer, and who is also the city solid waste manager, for all his support in making sure these episodes of the POG show sound their best each time. Thank you, Mick. And to James Hicks, the city's IT manager, who helps me with making sure each episode is successfully uploaded to our platforms. It's been a joy to work with both of you. Okay, so now back to the show. Hi, Pete. Thank you so much for taking the time with me today. Good morning. No problem at all. Thanks for having me. Sure. So let's start off with telling our listeners a little bit about yourself and how long you've been with the city. Awesome. So again, my name is Peter Ferreira, and I actually have been with the city I'm in my 15th year. Um, I grew up in Port Orange, so I had the um, the pleasure of actually playing on the fields now that I'm, I work for. And I started in 2006, actually, as an intern. I attended Flagler College in St. Augustine and got my internship here with the city of Port Orange. In 2007 of January, the special event coordinator position opened up. Um, I applied for it and luckily got it and um, been working my way up the ladder since. And and as you said, currently, I'm the deputy director for the Parks and Recreation Department. Wow. So you really grew up here in the city of Port Orange, huh? Yes. Yes. I love the city. And you've seen, I'm sure, a lot of changes, right? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I'm not, you know, some of my coworkers are, you know, a little bit older and they remember more dirt roads and things of that nature than I do. But yes, I have definitely um, seen the city grow immensely and and love to be a part of it. Oh, I'm sure. And I don't know, have you seen, you know, when you're heading uh, west, you probably didn't see much, right? It was a lot of dirt roads back then. So (laughs) Correct. Oh, gosh. So tell us a little bit about how your department is broken up. you got different departments, right? Sure, absolutely. So our department, we break up into three different units. We have our parks unit, which takes care of all the maintenance of our parks, our fields and our facilities. We have our athletics unit, which handles our youth and adult sports programming. And then we have our recreation um, special event side of the department, which handles the special events and any of our facility rentals. Yeah, it's, it's a big... So how many people do you have on your team? Um, seasonally, it, it changes. It goes up and down because we have some seasonal positions in the summer, but anywhere from about uh, 40 to 45, depending on the type of year. Yeah, and you guys do such a such a big job. I know, you know, with... Uh, well, I know Family Days is coming up. I know it's it's you know he- held here at City Center, yes. but I know you you guys do work very hard. I know it's through uh, Port Orange Community Trust, but I know you guys have a big hand in that too. So. Correct. Yeah, and we're looking forward to that. Looking event. forward to that. So, so um, you know, I know um, you know we're going to be talking about the rec shortly. I know that's uh, a very big project that you guys have right now. But what are some of the other projects that you have currently that are uh, you're working on? So we're really looking forward to the playground replacement out at Airport Road Park. Um, we've hit um, just a few slight delays with shipping costs or shipping delays with everything that's going on in the world today. Sure, sure. But we are super excited. We're planning on getting that one, uh, the current park, demoed and, and breaking ground on that one, hopefully the first couple weeks of October. Um, you mentioned the wreck, which we'll get into a little bit later. Um, and then we also are really, really close at finishing up a new maintenance storage facility for our parks crew, which we've needed for a very, very long time. So we're excited to have that. Oh, that's great. Oh, I know the airport uh, road park. Um, I, I've seen some of the renderings. That's going to be beautiful. And there's uh, sh- shades, right? Like you have shade yes, coverings. Yes, yeah, we, we listen to the community. We get a lot of requests for shade structures. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we, we put those and incorporated those in this park because I know that was important to the residents. Absolutely, absolutely. And I know that storage unit will be useful too, I'm sure, right? So yes. That's very cool. So, um, you know, it's so cool. You were talking about, you know, you have kids, right? You have small children. And um, it's so cool that the gym that you grew up in, now your kids will get to experience the rec on a whole new level, right? Absolutely. That's so exciting. So uh, I know the biggest thing that we have, obviously, if, you know, our listeners here are, you know, walking around city center, they see, they've been seeing some construction going around our city center. So tell us a little bit about the rec and actually what that stands for. Sure. 
Sure. So the REC actually stands for Recreation, Education, and Culture. And it's actually kind of funny because the official name of the facility is the Port Orange Gymnasium. But kind of just throughout the years, the kids in the community actually dubbed it the REC, and the name kind of stuck. So when it was time to apply for an ECHO grant for funding as part of the project, we started thinking of the name for it. And there's different elements included in ECHO grant. And so we came up with recreation, education, and culture to keep the name that the kids I love that. It's so so. easy and it's such a catchy name, right? Absolutely. Um, So, yes, as you mentioned, I do have, I have currently two little ones, um, a daughter and a son. And I actually have my third child, another son on the way here, actually in about three weeks. So. Oh, for uh, crunch time. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. <laughs> so as you mentioned, yes, I grew up here. I am very, very excited. It makes me smile when I think about my kids being able to experience the same community and, and the same facilities as I did growing up. And lucky for them, the rec will be a lot nicer and bigger than, than what I experienced <laughs> as a kid. So what will be involved, it is currently a 20,000 square foot facility. We will be adding on 10,000 square feet of additional space in it. Um, it currently has um, two gymnasiums, a lobby area, um, and some upstairs offices. There's an adjacent skate park as well. So right now we really only offer you know, some adult sports in the morning with pickleball and basketball, and then basketball for the youth in the afternoon. So it's pretty limited. So we're super excited about the rec because we're going to have a lot of different activities. There will be an indoor playground when you come into the facility um, with a, a two-story slide that will take you from the second floor to the first floor. So everybody's super excited oh, about Oh, I'm excited that. about that. <laughs> <laughs> the um, skate park actually will now be accessible via inside of the rec. So you will have to come in the, the facility. Um, there will be an outdoor kind of hangout area for the skaters um, to give them a little bit nicer of an area to hang out. Looking forward to that as well. We will be incorporating a game room where we'll have, hopefully in the future, some some PC games and some console games. Everybody loves that. You know, Fortnite's so popular nowadays, oh, so yeah. we're happy to bring that into the facility. The gymnasiums will stay. Um, we will also have a bunch of breakout rooms, conference rooms for meetings, birthday parties, things of that nature. There will be an additional mini gym um, added to the facility as well we're hoping to do more more along the lines of like mommy and me classes and smaller gymnastics and things of that nature in that facility there will also be a parent lounge upstairs a lot of um, families have more than one child one's normally playing on court one one's playing on court two they're not able to watch them at the same time so this parent lounge will actually give them the ability to watch multiple kids at the same time in different leagues so super excited about that oh very cool and then you know you could rent it out too right if you had a birthday party or i'm sure there's rooms for rent out yes absolutely we're current working on working on all of those packages but if there's anybody out in the community that either you know, hosts uh, gymnastic classes or dance classes or any type of classes and you're interested in potentially being an instructor, um, please reach out to us. And towards the end of this, we'll be, I'll give out the contact information for all Oh, that. absolutely. And um, I have to give a, a plug to your Facebook page. In fact, I've been sharing it to the Port Orange City Hall Facebook page. You know, the demo has started. It started a few weeks back. And so every couple of weeks, they've been, uh, our, the port, your, your team has been just posting little snippets, little videos of some of the construction. So We're excited uh, to kind of show the community that as well, too. So that's great. For sure. And just so everybody knows, we will post um, an update in those demo videos and just progress of construction every Friday on our Facebook page. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. So for our listeners, you can go to, you know, the Port Orange Parks and Recreation Facebook page. Of course, our Port Orange City Hall that I'll be sharing, too. And so that's a way for citizens to really get involved. Um, And again, listeners, if you're walking around City Center right there, um, there's a big rendering. There's a big sign. I think it's an Echo Grant sign, but I think it's a picture of what it will look like. And it'll look really, really good. I'm excited to kind of see that. So um, is there anything that, um, in terms of the rec, you wanted to uh, touch on before we move in just to another Um, No, that pretty much sums it up. Again, just to reiterate, we are always open to different ideas as far as programming and events and things that the community wants us to run. So please look look us up on Facebook at Port Orange Parks and Recreation. Um, Send us an email. Send us a message for any of the ideas you have, and and we'll do our best to try to implement those things. Right. And I know it's hard, but um, we see the the opening within a year, right, for sure, give or take a year. Yes, yeah. We're looking at um, 
again, extremely tentative. Of but course. We're looking at next August. Of course. Um, yeah, of course. To open the facility. Well, it just kind of gives people an update of, you know, kind of kind of an estimate, right, for sure. So so um, switching gears just a little bit, um, you know, here we are. We just wrapped up summer, and here we are, you know, getting into the fall, and uh, sometimes it doesn't feel like the fall because it's still really warm out. Um, so what's next for your team uh, and working, you know, and getting information out to our citizens from the Parks and Recreation? Sure. So we have um, many awesome events that we offer in the fall. Um, started well you had mentioned family days again that is a co-sponsored event with um, Port Orange Community Trust so that event will be um, September 23rd uh, 24 25 26 it's a Thursday through Sunday so make sure you come out to City Center and enjoy family days we're looking forward to that in terms of our internal programs with our Parks and Recreation Department um, we have an awesome trunk or treat that we host every year on Halloween that is always on the actual day of Halloween so October 31st um, and come out to city center last year we had to switch it up a little bit and do pre-registrations we will not be doing pre-registrations this year so please just come out we will have one-way lines going for the trunk or treat um, but you won't have any time slots that you need need to adhere to there will also be a costume contest going on that evening as well as some various photo opportunities and different activities around the circle love that event um, the last three or four years it's really really blown up and the community you know showed the love for the event so we want to make sure that we we keep it here so please join us on halloween evening um, for our trunk or treat and then moving closer to december of course we always have our holiday events um, we have our community tree lighting located at city center circle on december 4th and as well as our christmas parade on december 5th so we were not able to have either one of those events last year so we are super excited to be able to host those this year and, and we look forward to seeing everybody's smiling faces at those events. oh i'm sure and i'm sure there's uh people already excited as they're listening to this episode that it's back and uh, we're kind of back into that holiday spirit yes and, and last year we did try to implement a couple new social distancing events we had a uh, light up port orange community um, Christmas light competition at people's houses as well as the the elf hunt scavenger hunt with elves at different parks so we will keep those events oh. also this year we couldn't get rid of them we had um, huge support from the that community. was popular it when you see the elves in the different trees and or the yes. different areas uh, that was very popular and and kudos to your team to coming up with those things last year when you know we were going through you know uh, really the heavy of the pandemic and coming up with different ideas that we can engage with the community so that's great no, that's thank great you. Yeah, we have a very very creative team yes you do department. yes you do it's always you guys are always fun to work with as well. Um, is there anything else that you would like to mention before we conclude? Um, no, I would just say again, I would just like to plug the community's involvement. Um, you guys support our department very, very well, and we appreciate all the support and the ideas. And, and please keep the ideas flowing. We, we like to be creative, and we're always up for, to try anything. Um, so please um, email us. My email is um, P Ferreira, the letter P. My last name, Ferreira, is F as in Frank, E R R. E-I-R-A, and that's at port-orange.org. And again, our Facebook page is Port Orange Parks and Recreation. So please stay involved, and we appreciate all you guys do for our, the support of our department in our city. Oh, that, that's great. And, uh, you know, before we um, conclude this episode, I do want to make a quick mention about the city's town hall meeting. Uh, we didn't host it on August 19th as originally scheduled due to the rise in COVID-19 cases, but please stay tuned to our social media platforms about when the new date will be. Um, again, this will provide, you know, our residents an opportunity to ask questions uh, to our city council members about, you know, what is happening in our city and this will also provide you an opportunity to ask more questions about the rec i know we'll you know always have um you know information and of course your team there so pete i really appreciate your time to provide us a little bit more insight about your parks and recreation department and of course yourself and um you know what we have to look forward to in the near future a lot's happening you know, thank you very much for having me. And again, congratulations on your one year anniversary. Oh, of the thank podcast. you. I, you know, it, it takes a team. It's, it's not, it's, uh, it took a, you know, it takes a team to do this. Sure. And uh, I really appreciate it. It's been, it's been fun. It's been another avenue to get information out to our community. And, you know, the way, you know, the world's going, it's digital, right? Things are, it's always um, just, uh, just the way things are going these days. So I'm really excited for this POG show and uh, it's been a pleasure. So, Anyway, of course, the best ways to find the city is by the city's website, www.port-orange.org, the city's Facebook page, Port Orange City Hall, our Twitter page, at City Port Orange, and our LinkedIn page, City of Port Orange. 
This podcast, The Pog Show, can be found on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Well, this wraps up episode 15 of The Pog Show. Until next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me today on The Pog Show. We've only just begun. And with you sharing, subscribing, and leaving a five-star review for this podcast is really going to help launch us to the next level together.